Say, hello everyone. I'm Natasha Brian Ramon, and this is my vlog. Good evening. How is everyone doing? <laughs> yes, yes. So, our topic for tonight is UV sanitizers. Yes. As you can see, I'm actually holding one. But don't worry, it doesn't have any battery on it. So, even if I push any button on it, it won't turn on. So, there. Actually, I will be requesting for help from my mom tonight because we would like to share with you how we tested the UV sanitizer that we have. If it's really UV light that it's that is used in it and it's not a fake product. So Anna. later my mom will be showing you what we what she did to check but basically we have one that's UV care. We have this for quite some time already. It was a gift, a baby shower gift because we <laughs> <laughs> we initially use it to sanitize my toys, but now more than ever, we are finding that it's best to use it also for the groceries or anything that we get from the outside now that it now that there's a pandemic. Just so we just an added um safety or security on our end so that we don't actually have any covid virus around when we receive stuff or buy stuff from the outside and that we don't bring it inside our home so then my mom bought another one online and she wanted to check if it's really legit because she didn't get it from uv care this time she bought it from a different seller and if you'll notice I'm holding a banana <laughs> this is what my mom used earlier to check the if the light installed in the UV in both UV sanitizers that we have are legit we're actually kind of sure that the uv care one is a legit product because it came from uv care so it's really more on testing if the one that we were able to buy the new one is also legit so i turned the floor over to my mom so hello everyone i did the banana test on the uv care hand sanit uh UV sanitizer that we have as well as this new one that I bought from online so it's been sitting in our home for quite a while now except that I wasn't able to buy a banana to test these two items with so I wasn't able to document it fully but here's the result so what I did was I put I bought a Cavendish banana it's a bit green it's just that our light is yellow and I put electric tape on either side here here and here and then I placed sorry tapos na yung test eh. so <laughs> then I placed I of course I turned on the UV lamps placed this one here and then this one here and I let it stay for 15 minutes so I put a timer and after the 15 minutes was up this was what I got after removing the electrical tapes so I guess you can say that both are legit UV sanitizers UVC sanitizers and hindi naman nasayang ang pera ko dito sa pagbili nitong another new one actually Medyo sketchy siya because, see, I bought it online sa 
Hey Nim Toys, Philippines. And for a very, very limited number of hours, they it was on by one take one. So, yung 1,800 niya na price, you get two. So, I got two sets. And really hoping na legit naman siya kasi hindi naman siya si Hey Nim Toys naman is not just a anong tawag nila doon yung fly fly by night na seller or meron naman siyang medyo matagal naman na siya established na siya sa online community toys nga lang mostly ang binibenta niya so anyway so there nasulit ko naman legit UVC sanitizer naman siya by the way, I got this idea to test the the banana test through Trish. Hello, hello Trish. And then I saw it on YouTube also. So I watched it and then it took a while for me to secure a Cavendish banana. So there you go. The banana test on UVC sanitizers. Ingat-ingat lang guys in buying these, these UVC sanitizers kasi baka mamaya ang mabili nyo is yung hindi legit. You can just search in YouTube. Ang daming hindi legit na. So there you have it. Bye! So there you have it! That's how my mom tested the UV sanitizer that we have. If you see, it's actually very much identical. Yes, it's very much identical except for a few differences that she noticed like in the power button. One is the orientation of the button is quite different. Only the design though. And in this part, in the battery part, the UV care has the sign open while the other one doesn't have one. But basically, it looks very, very, very much similar to each other. Yeah. Yes. And with the banana test, we used electric tape, the banana, of course. And this is the box of the new one that we bought from High Name Toys. And actually, to conserve, we actually use a power bank to power the UV sanitizers that we have so that we don't spend too much on batteries. By the way, the new one, similar to the UV Care one, comes with a um, micro USB cable to be used for the power bank. The box inside actually has a small brochure. Yes, there's a small brochure inside. So there you have it. I hope you find tonight's vlog informative. And I had to ask help from my mom because it's UV sanitize it's a uv sanitizer and it's not to be handled by babies like me by toddlers like me and for you would like to um tell everyone to please be vigilant when you have to when buying uv sanitizers especially if you're buying online from sellers who are not actually who, from not from stores but just fly by night sellers and also if you have a UV sanitizer please take extra care when using it even if it's just this small one do not look into it do not um, so that you don't damage your eyes and do not expose your skin to it, no matter how uh, short a period of time you do. So, there you have it. I hope everyone is still doing great with the quarantine. And don't eat the banana. <laughs>
and it's actually day 102 or 103 of the lockdown right baby so still keep safe everyone and please like my video subscribe to my channel and where do they click Huh? Where do they click? Not there. Here, diva. <laughs> Where do they click here? Click here. Oh, where do they click, Tasha? No, no more. I don't eat. No more clicking. Okay. Just say bye bye. Till next week, guys. Bye. Hello.